Hi, this is Cheryl McQueen, designer with Del Bellos Designs. Today I'm going to do a very quick tip for you with our Talk Crafty To Me series. And I'm going to show you how you can get your stencils that you use um, with your Sweet Poppy stencils that have the companion die buddies. I'm going to show you a way so that you can keep it centered in your piece and cut it nice and even and not worry about it being having too many edges showing or um, not quite centered. Normally what we do is we stencil on our paper with our stencil, have the piece of paper behind it, do our stenciling, then we take it out and we run it through the machine with our die buddy on top and it's sometimes really hard to line that up straight. So what I'm going to show you is today I went ahead and cut out the die with the die buddy first. So here is my piece that I have cut out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to stencil second. So I'm going to set these things aside and it's a very fast simple process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, stencil, my Sweet Poppy Indian Moth stencil, turn it upside down and take my piece that I cut out and turn it upside down on top of my stencil. Then I'm going to very very carefully line it up and then I'm going to take pieces of the Sweet Poppy low tack tape and actually on the back side just tack those down making sure that everything is lined up nice and evenly. I torn out a few pieces of the tape already ahead of time just so I was hoping it would be easier for me to handle that way so again, just line up your pieces, use your tape, and use as much as you're comfortable with because you don't want it shifting around. You want it as centered as possible. Now make sure those bottom pieces, the tiny little pieces, are lined up. that little piece looks like it's just off. So I'll line it up again. Alright, so now I have got my cutout piece lined up inside of my stencil. I'm going to go ahead and lay it on a piece of magnetic sheet just because it will hold it in place a little bit better when I'm actually doing my stenciling. You don't have to do that but I like to do that so that it doesn't wiggle around quite as much. So I'm just going to do a really quick simple little um, little bit of the stenciling. I'm not going to really go into a whole lot of detail but I'm just going to go ahead and take some peacock feather to start out with. and rub some of that stenciling, do some of that stenciling across the top part of my Indian Moss stencil. You can use whatever tool works best for you for your stenciling. I, I just love the the brushes. The blending brushes seem to work best for me, but there are many different varieties of stenciling brushes that you can get as well. Alright, so there's our peacock feathers and we will move on to our pine needles. And then I'll do carved pumpkin. And 
And then finally, I will do some mustard seed. All right, see a little spot I want to darken up just a little bit. Right up here. With my pine needles, and maybe just touch up a little bit on my peacock feathers. Get it just how I like it. All right, and so now finished with my stenciling part. I remove the stencil from the magnetic sheet, turn it back over very gently. Remove the Sweet Poppy Low Tack tape. And remove my moth. And that way you can get them lined up a whole lot easier and see I actually you can see that's why you need to be very very careful see if we can get in there to make sure that it's lined up in the window I didn't quite get this antenna lined up the way I wanted to I did a little bit better job with my very first one but see then this way you don't have to worry about um, having done all the work to do your stenciling and then when you go to cut it out it doesn't fit quite right Anyway, I hope that this little tip helped you out a whole lot um, and that you'll give it a try with your stencils and dye buddies that you have. Um, below this video, please see the list of the supplies that I used for, for doing this quick tip. And then be sure to remember to check out the DelBellsDesigns.com website and click on the members, uh, the design team members page and check out all the videos that we have for you to check on and enjoy. Have a great day.